In today's video, I'm going to show you how absolutely perfect Christina Welch's new Porridge Posse paints are for making blooms. And it is the best tube paint, even though it's not tube paint. It comes in these little tubs. Uh, absolutely the best I've used in terms of making blooms. Um, so I highly recommend if this is, if the bloom thing is something you're getting into, definitely get some of these paints. You will not regret it. All of them have a shimmer. Um, so there's like morning pansy shimmer, which is like a gorgeous purple. They're rich and creamy and highly pigmented. Um, if you're a freak like me, you'll appreciate that they smell very good. <laughs> yes, I, I'm a sniffer. <laughs> so, uh, but just beautiful. Very beautiful paint. She calls them pigments, so I think they're very close to being pure pigment. But uh, she makes these herself in her garage kitchen or, or her regular kitchen. I'm not sure what, but she is an amazing person. She's out there supporting artists in the community um, and has been for years. So I highly recommend that you check out her paint and give it a try. I'm going to put the link in the video description, or you could email Christina. She will take care of you. She's got 20 different colors, um, and she just put out a set of winter colors, beautiful pastels, uh, in her line. So, what I'm going to be showing you today is how I do, uh, with Christina's paint, how I do these blooms. So... I'm just going to go over it really quickly. Uh, you should definitely check out some other videos out there that have already gone over the uh, recipe and technique. Uh, just a quick rundown. There's um, Tammy Anderson, who's in the United States. There's Erica Hughes, who is in Ireland. There's Saskia. Um, I think it's Schmidt. Saskia. Anyway, uh, she is in the Netherlands, and there's Canela, Canela C, I think, or maybe Canela K. Anyway, and she's in Dadgum, Canada. I'm so bad with names. So all of these videos are going to be linked in the video description. Uh, if you watch those, you're going to have a great idea of exactly how to do this. So um, I've already mixed up some pouring medium, a lot of it. This container contains uh, three parts of the Sherwin-Williams High Gloss Ultra Deep Base. Um, it's an untinted interior high gloss paint. Um, so I use three parts of this and one and a half parts of this. Uh, which is a polyurethane water-based varnish. So that's how I do my pouring medium. I'm going to mix that with the paints. Um, and then for uh, what I put on top to get cells, I have mixed Floetrol, three parts Floetrol, one part uh, titanium white, and then just a few drops of the Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner. So this came from Jen Neal. This idea, uh, she discovered this back in the spring. So thanks to Jen for all of her experimenting. She is a huge inspiration. And uh, so I think everyone in the community is very thankful for her okay i think i'm going to start with these colors to uh first um what i'm going to start with in terms of the ratio is a tablespoon of the pouring medium roughly so 
So it's going to be one to three. A tablespoon of the pouring medium to a teaspoon of uh, the paint. And let's see. So I want to see how many scoops because I'm not going to measure all of them. So there's one scoop. So about two scoops. So they're so rich. The colors are just gorgeous. So that looks uh, about about right. So I'm going to mix it pretty well here. So I want it to definitely be all tied in together. This is a ton of paint for this type of painting. Okay, so I'm going to mix the other two. I'm not going to show you that. Um, and then we will get to pouring. Okay, so I also mixed up three other colors because I'm going to do a couple, a few blooms. Um, I got the Galaxy Blue Shimmer, which I think is my favorite. It's so pretty. Um, and the Chestnut Bronze, which it's rich. Hold on, I left this thing on there. Oops. Which is so rich and beautiful. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful bronze. And then uh, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. So this is a turquoise that has a very nice little iridescent sparkle to it. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up because there's a little bit of a glare, but it's gorgeous. Never seen a paint like it. Um, and I am addicted to it, so uh, I will be ordering lots of that, I have no doubt. So those are the colors. Um, this is Morning Pansy. Look at that sparkle morning pansy shimmer um this is persian autumn yellow which is not a shimmer but it's very pretty and then where'd the other one go where'd the other one go ah this red is alan's red shimmer which is a very pretty uh red with nice shimmer to it Obviously, Alan's Red Shimmer. Okay. So, I'm going to pour a, a base, the pillow, if you will, of this white paint. I'll show you a picture of the can. Get it uh, at Walmart. It's about 15 bucks for a can of it. I pour it in this container um, and let it sit so that there are fewer air bubbles. Um... All right, so I think I'm going to do purple, oh, her, her pigments are just stunning, that shimmer. It's really gorgeous, you see how thick it is. Some eye candy. All right, there's that one. And then I'm going to do turquoise. No, I, no, no, no. Then I'm going to do red. Purple, red, and... Turquoise. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> now this is a cell activator. I'm going to put it on there. Just not much. Boom. All right. And now the most important part is blowing. And I am horrible at it. Um, you want to blow straight down into that and uh, try to get a circle, circular pattern. You don't want to blow too hard so it doesn't stick. So anyway, I'm going to just try it. Um, this is where I've got to practice, practice, practice. And then you just want to let it come back in on itself. Um, you don't want the middle part to be sticking because uh, when you start tilting it, you want it, all of it to be moving together as one. And uh, if the center is stuck, that is not going to happen. So, so there's a big white spot there. It will get smaller as things come in, but um, I'm going to try to help it out by just blowing lightly with this turkey baster. So I got some of it to, but you can see it's shrinking up. Those cells are popping up and, uh, and everything. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. I did take the Shelly art class. Uh, Shelly uh, did a great job with her tutorials. I will say that um, for me the the experience in the group was not good um, I was told that I lack hu basic human decency because I want to teach this because I took the course for one reason and that was to reignite my passion for pouring and to share that by sharing my experiment, experiments and learning process with my subscribers. So that's why I took the course. And uh, so it was very disappointing to be told for this culture of secrecy. So I'm very thankful to Tammy Anderson, uh, who stood up to it, said, forget this. It's not copyrighted. There's nothing that we were told uh, when we purchased the course about not sharing. So Tammy broke the ice. She did a video. Um, brave, brave woman. Because there at the beginning, anybody who even showed a little bit, not even giving a, the recipe, was just, I mean, attacked. Uh, so she was very brave to do that. And... Uh, it kind of opened the door for the rest of us. Frame. So, uh, I'm just going back and forth to get that middle unstuck. Okay, now it's moving as one. So I'm going to take it down here. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous that is. And uh, it's not like that with every brand of paint. But at least it hadn't been for me, so.
I have run out of gloves, so I'm doing this with no gloves. Oops. The amazing thing about this is the stretchiness of the um, untinted paint. So it really just kind of changes everything up. You could not do this with a like a Liquitex pouring medium or or glue. Your cells would just completely fall apart. But with this, you're able to just it just is a whole different set of properties. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of a windswept look. I don't know if I should take it back to the middle or... I'm going to take it down. Get Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame again. Take it down. Let's look at it just stretching, stretching, stretching. And I, I should be able to get that all the way to the base of the uh, tile with some patience. with it with it okay so there you go get that all right so that'll that'll do um, so there's that one. Uh, I want that purple stripe off. Cool off of there. <laughs> it's just like, come on. I know you can do it. Okay, well... There we go. Cool. So there's that one. That's pretty neat. All right. Whoop! Damn it. Look, I got the corner. Okay, I'm going to do some more colors. Hey, y'all. It's a few days later, and uh, I wanted to show you the results of the bloom I just showed you. And um, try another one or two uh, with some new colors. So this is the one I just showed you on camera. Um, I did this one the same night and uh, really I just gabbed too much during these. I can't even speed it up uh, so I'm not going to show you that footage. Uh, it's basically the exact same thing I just showed you on uh on this one so when this is covered with resin it's going to be just 
you know, a beautiful, I don't think you, the camera is picking up the shimmer, but uh, just a beautiful, shimmery gorgeousness. So what I think I'm going to do with these tiles, just so they're not wasted, is mount them in shadow boxes. Um, I, I don't have, I don't use enough of the same colors to make coaster sets and and as a wise wise woman once said, there are there are enough coasters in the world already. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking shadow boxes will be a cool way to to use these. So I've mixed up a couple more colors: the gold rush, uh, which is just and I I'm I'm kind of a gold freak. This is one of the most beautiful golds I've worked with, and uh, it's just blowing my mind that Christina is making these herself. So it, it's just really beautiful. It dries to a gorgeous uh, finish. And then I also used a non-shimmery, one of her fall colors. She's putting out colors every uh, season. Um, I'm really excited about getting her winter colors, but this is one of her fall colors. It's uh, kind of a, what's the word for that red? Well, it's just a deep, beautiful, oops, I'm out of camera. Deep, beautiful red, um, like a crimson almost. So I mix those two. I think they'll look real pretty together. Golden, uh, this muscadine wine. All right, before I get started on this, there's another video that's come out that I want to tell you about. Karen over at Waterfall Acrylics has done a wonderful video showing her using this technique to make some gorgeous functional art, some just adorable little um, little wooden purses. So definitely go check out her video. It will be linked with the others in the video description. this one. I'm pretty happy with it. I did uh, uh, for the cell activator on this one um, and what I'm doing today I did mix up new cell activator. Um, it's something that I don't want to let sit so it's like a, I mix a very small amount um, and, and then every time I, I'm doing this I mix new cell activator. So um, I added some water, I mean just like three drops of water, thinned it out a little bit and I'm getting better results. Um, so still not blowing very well, but um, results are a little better in terms of the, the cell explosion, which is the best part. All right, I'm going to do one more.
Okay, here's this one. I decided to uh, not stretch it as much because I like some of these edges. Um, and the color is a little wonky on this video. Um, but you get the idea. Right, so I really so, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, cannot say enough about Christina's Porridge Posse paints. Link is in the video description. Get Check them out. She's got these heavily pigmented uh, paints. These thick paints or pigments. And she also has pre-mixed paints so, uh, that are already just ready to pour. Check them out in the video description. Uh, give Christina a try. She's a huge, huge asset to the pouring community. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for all the support over the last few weeks during this very strange time in the acrylic pouring community. <laughs> um, super excited to try more experiments with Christina's paint. Um, I'm going to be trying Jen Neal's bloom recipe uh she had um, i ordered some craft neek products and jen is sending me some products so really excited to try out that um and super excited about uh trying out some of the primary elements leslie onstat uh sent me a big old fun box and I can't wait to try out those paints as well. Um, those are a dried pigment uh, that's just like nothing out there on the market. And uh, they're absolutely stunning. It's the color art, primary elements. Super excited to do a whole bunch of experiments with these as well. So anyway, stay tuned, you guys, and uh, have a wonderful week. Happy pouring. <laughs>